Right, I'm just going to do a very quick masterclass on propellers and uh, shafts. Uh, on this one here, you've got a propeller with a lock washer, which should be turned both sides. That's quite a common problem that you see on many boats where they only turn one side. And primarily it's done to save a few quid that when you take the propeller off for some reason, you can flatten off one side and turn the other. Really, every time you take it off, you should put a new uh, lock washer in there. And, it, and there's a, a little um, tab which goes into the keyway on the propeller. On the end here, you've got a, an anode. In, in this case, it's a, a zinc one. And because the boat is running in fresh water, it's actually shut off. So it's giving absolutely no protection at all. Um, from the, con the quality of the blade, lightly tapping the ends of the blade with a hammer, not going belty belty stuff, you can hear a nice ring to the blade. The next thing we look at is the security of the shaft, and you can turn it. And I don't know if you notice that, but that bearing there should be secured into the stern tube, normally with a grub screw, which probably should be in there, that little hole there. Uh, in this case, it's been fitted and it's, it's probably broken off or something. But as you can see, the whole of the stern tube is now turning, sorry, the whole of the bearing is now turning in the stern tube. So that is not going to last very long. As you can see, when I give it a bit of a wobble, you can see how much it's wearing already because there's water pumping out of it. So this is really not a good, good move. Um, so that's basically that. Uh, the shaft itself in this case is stainless steel. Um, sometimes you do get uh, bond shafts. Uh, generally speaking, it's always a good idea at some point to draw the shaft every four or five years when the boat's out of the water and, and, and check the wear where it's running through the bearing. Um, because if there's, sometimes you'll change the bearing and you're still finding loads of play. Um, generally for a 30 mil shaft, you'd reckon about one mil to one and a half mil play. For a 45 mil shaft, uh, up to about two mil is acceptable, but I'd prefer to see it around about the one and a half. So I hope you find that useful. Uh, just be a bit mindful that uh, this shaft is uh, metric. Uh, there is a 32 mil shaft, which is old, the old Imperial inch and an inch and a half. So just be a bit wary that sometimes boats of a certain age will be in Imperial measurements and others will be in metric. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. And um, lastly, if you're struggling to get the, uh, the, the, the details of the propeller, cleaning it off and then using a bit of blue chalk like I've done here, which is one of my dad's tricks, will show you that this one is uh, an 18 by 14 and the little R on the end tells you it's right hand. It even says who's, who's made it. Um, but telling a left hand pop and a right hand pop isn't really that hard. The, the leading edge when you turn it is cutting the water and the back end is normally uh, perpendicular. So you can see that this is definitely a right handed pop. But again, some people do really mess that up one as well. Anyway, hope you find that of use. Cheers.